In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a quick and dirty calendar view using Tana. Welcome back. My name's Ev Chapman and I create YouTube videos about how to elevate your life and work using tools for thought. I very rarely use a monthly calendar view. I rarely used it in Notion. Um, I wasn't really even thinking about setting something like this, this up in Tana. But the other day I was planning my content for the week and thinking, oh, I'd really love to just see what's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and so I kind of accidentally uh, created a new calendar view, which I thought was pretty handy. And if you do need somewhere where you can kind of plot out a month or even a week, um, then this might be helpful to you. This is not a new feature um, that the team have bought out. It's not sophisticated. It does not rely on dates. As I said, it's quick and dirty if you need a calendar view. So let's jump in and see how to create it. All right, so this is what I ended up creating and it's basically just a super tag that has fields called Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then it's viewed as a table. I know it's pretty dumb. It, I told you it was quick and dirty, but it's actually really, really handy if you wanna see things either in a week view like this, um, or I then went and set it up for the whole of January. So now I can plot all of my content on the calendar. Now you might not be a content creator, but you might want to be able to kind of plot other things throughout the month. And I kind of think this is a really cool way to do it. So let me show you exactly how this gets set up. First things first is you are going to want to create a super tag. So let's say that this is week, at the moment we're in week 52, um, and then you want to give it a hashtag. So I called mine weekly content plan, but you could call this any kind of weekly plan that you want. You could call it weekly calendar, for instance. Create that. Then you're going to want to come in and configure your weekly calendar. What I ended up doing is, one, I created a field, that it brings in the week, okay? So whatever the week is um, that uh, the actual week tag. So I'm gonna create that and then come in and just configure that field to be an instance of week. And so that is then going to bring in any of your week, which is then gonna be how we're gonna build the title of this note. The next field that you're gonna want is a start date uh, so that you can sort by this field. So uh, come into new field, press date, and then call this start date. That's as easy as that is. And then we're gonna just create a whole lot of fields for each of the days of the week. So. All right, so once you have all of those, then the last thing that we wanna do is come here and go build title from fields. And we're gonna just take the week. Um, so all you wanna do is uh, put in your week tag. Um, so you wanna put the dollar sign and then the squiggly brackets and then the name of the field. And then we're just gonna call this uh, week calendar. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen if we close this up, is then when we create this tag, all we have to do is find the week that it is. So let's say it's week 52, week calendar. And then you're gonna put the start date in. So the start date for this week, I usually, I use Monday as a start date, but if you use Sunday, that's fine. Um, and so now you've kind of got the start of what this, whatever this weekly calendar is for you. Now, as a content creator, I have certain things that I like to come out on certain days. So what I did was I configured my calendar for with all these default values. So on a Monday, I have a YouTube video. Uh, on a Tuesday, I do a Medium article. Sundays, I send my newsletter. And so I had I set these up as kind of placeholders so that then I would know kind of what to put in those uh, particular days. Now, that's all well and good. It looks like a normal super tag, but now you actually wanna set up a view so that you can view these from uh, week to week or, or month to month. So what I ended up doing is having like a top level node, which is like, let's call this the um, monthly calendar the easiest way then create a search underneath that monthly calendar and so what I ended up doing is I want to kind of set this up for each of the months so I have December January February you know all the way through so we're just going to simply search for our weekly calendar super tag so we're going to find nodes with the tag weekly calendar 
I'm going to just view it as a list at first, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to rename this to December. And then we're going to change the view to a table. And we just want to make sure that the display has all of our fields on it. So once you've done that, that's pretty much it. Now you have your weekly view um, in a table. If you then want to add a new week, you could just simply add your new week here. Uh, in which you call it uh, whatever whatever week it ended up being. Um, you want to put another start date in of whenever that week started and so and so. And so then um, just make sure that you turn your sort on. So you want to sort by, I usually sort by start date. Okay. And I always have it as a uh, I usually have it as descending, but if you're doing a month view, you might want to have it as ascending um, so that you have the first week of the month and then it kind of goes um, uh, goes to the second and the third and the fourth. So the easiest way to actually create months is actually to come into your weekly calendar and add a new field. So under week, we're just going to put month. Oops, add a new field and have this be month. Okay. Um, and then when you go to configure your field, you want this to be uh, options and you're just going to add all of the months in here. Once you've done that, close it up. And so then all you need to do is make sure that you select whatever month it is. So let's say this is December and the same, this is December. And then what you can do is in your live query, all you then have to do is make sure that you add your month uh, field and you choose December. Okay, that's only going to show December. So if I run that, you're going to see everything here. But let's say that week 41 wasn't part of December and it was actually part of uh, October, then you wouldn't see that. Okay, and so then it's just a matter of setting these up. So you would set up December. You could then uh, come down here and you might want to set up January and you do it exactly the same. You go find nodes with the tag weekly calendar as a list. You view it as a table. You add in all of your fields. Take out the month. Um, and then you just come here to your live query and you add in whatever month it is that you want to be uh, that you want to look at. So let's say this is January run done. OK, and so then you just end up with a whole lot of searches that search for these kind of monthly views, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All I then do is come to monthly calendar, press command K and type in tabs and view it as tabs. And so then suddenly you've kind of got your, your this, this monthly calendar view. We've got December, January, February, March, April, May, and all the way through. So obviously this isn't connected to any of your daily pages. So if you do add something in here, let's say, um, an essay to write, it wouldn't be connected to that day at all. Okay. So you would have to then, um, kind of add that into the day or set a reminder for that day, for instance. So you could go command K and you could say, remind me on whatever that day is. Um, so that's one way to do it. I just find that, um, I use this view only to kind of spread things out, see the month, be able to put them in. And then I go and I kind of view them in, in other ways. So I just find it's a, as I said, a quick and dirty way to set up a calendar view, um, that you can just view the days of the week and, um, and each of the weeks in its place. So I hope you liked this really quick video on how to set up a quick and dirty calendar view using Tana. Um, Hopefully one day there is some kind of calendar view that's more integrated than what this is. Um, but if a calendar view is part of your process of planning, then this might be able to help you do that. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I create videos like this on how to elevate your life and work every single week.